are so many different places where you can find your art inspiration from and one of those places is Hobby Lobby. So I want to show you some of the paintings from Hobby Lobby. You don't have to copy anybody else's painting but you can always gather the information and ideas and colors and inspiration or reference, right? So today I'm here at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to take you all along with me and share with you different types of arts and resources which can inspire you to paint. Are you all ready? Let's go! Let me know down below in the comment section when you go shopping or just for inspiration to different places like Hobby Lobby or art stores, which is your main favorite section. I would definitely say flowers is my favorite section and after flowers I would go to the painting side and get more inspired. What about you? Comment down below. This is how you get it and this is how you get more inspired because we think that roses are always red or pink or any one color but then you just look at these different ones and you <clears throat> get an idea how mixed these colors can be. It's not always about the same color, but you can always mix and match. And all these different petals and they just inspire you to paint. This is another favorite part of mine um, and it's all about flowers even though they are fake but you can always get inspiration from, from colors and different leaves as well as you can see all this so beautiful so yeah um, as you know that this art stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and they have a lot of different art stuff and that's the reason I like to come over here not for shopping always but for inspiration so another idea is to go in the candle section, you can paint on the candles, you can come in the flowers and check all these colors and leaves which will inspire you more to paint as well. Then you can also have a look at all different paintings and colors and sizes to get more broader idea and get inspired. specifically to shop for paintings but for inspiration because you do need to go out in the nature in the places in the different sources to uh, gain more knowledge about colors and art and size and every, everything this is so simple yet so beautiful very aesthetic so I just want to show you all and inspire and, and encourage you all to find your source of inspiration and just go for it you don't have to be a professional oh you don't have to be a professional when it comes to painting you can always start first by practicing the more you practice the more you learn about colors and sizes and different styles and types of paintings then slowly slowly you start getting professional in what you're doing so this is one of the sources of inspiration and this is hobby lobby and you can always go to michael's you can go to of course nature outside depending on what you like painting, flowers, landscapes, right? Landscape paintings and sometimes this kind
kind of visual, visuals can help you to understand that black and white can go along with pink color or red roses so you can balance all these different things when you look at it right it makes a huge difference when you have your own uh, visual library for inspiration i really like this one i'm not a fan of black and white honestly but this is beautiful Lately, I've been seeing a lot of uh, candles which looks like this. They're in trend, and it's like ten dollars almost, but it's really nice. It's a small size as well. I love candles, so I always look for some different types, colors, styles. But I'm not gonna get anything today from here. I mean, paintings or candles, but. I just got two books which I'll show it to you all at the end of this video but also I do love pine candles and also I have other videos where I share with you all candle decorating with acrylic paints so normally what I do I just get this plain candles with no designs just color and then I draw on them I'll link down below in the description most of my candle decorated videos so you all can check it out There's more small ones as well.